mixed martial arts is rapidly growing every year than any other sport. Of course, it takes a lot of skill and time to become a fighter, but is it safe to play? No combat sport is safe to play, and MMA is no different. Although you can call it the safest combat sport than any other like boxing. By that, I mean the death ratio, to this day, there have only been 16 deaths in MMA, where 7 of them were in sanctioned fights and the others in unsanctioned fights. In this video, we will only be covering those warriors who were the youngest ones, although all of them deserve to be discussed. Without wasting any more time, let's start the video. Number 10. Tyrone Mims This 30-year-old fighter's death remains a mystery even to this day. He had a sanctioned match in Mount Pleasant, Carolina on August 11, 2012. In just round two of the match, he complained of severe weakness and couldn't continue the fight, so the referee had to stop the match. He was examined by the match doctors, but there were no signs of trauma or injuries. The only issue that Tyrone complained about was fatigue. Since he was responsive, he went to the locker room but couldn't walk out of there. He collapsed to the ground, lost his consciousness, and within an hour was declared dead. Two autopsies were performed, but the cause of death could never be found. Number 9. Michael Kirkham Michael Kirkham was just 30 years old when he died on June 28, 2010. His final fight was against Carlos Iraburo in Aiken, South Carolina. During the first round of the fight, Kirkham was thrown to the canvas where he suffered a series of shots to the head. The referee decided to stop the match because Kirkham was in a critical situation and couldn't defend himself. In just a little, he lost consciousness and was rushed to hospital. He died in hospital on June 28, and subarachnoid hemorrhage was declared as the cause of death, though some of the doctors also called upon second impact syndrome as the cause of death, but was never proven. Number 8. Buto Guilain Buto Guilain was one of the good fighters of the Republic of the Congo. He died at the age of 29 in Johannesburg, South Africa. Sadly, his final bout was Buto and Kiran Davies. He fought well until the third round. He was knocked out by Davies in the third. Soon was surrounded by medics and was stabilized on site. After quite some time, he was rushed to hospital where he died a week later of the incident. The cause of death was brain swelling resulting from injuries. Number 7. Joao Carvalho Carvalho was 27 years old when he fought his final bout. The bout took place in Dublin, Ireland on April 13, 2016. It was an unsanctioned fight between Joao Carvalho and Charlie Ward. He was knocked out by Ward during the match and was surrounded by match medics. He died two days after the incident. The cause of death was never revealed to the public and is kept hidden to this date. The death of Carvalho somehow motivated the country's people to continue MMA fights. Number 6. Ramin Zainalov Ramin died at the age of 27 in his hometown in Azerbaijan. He participated in his last fight in March 2015. He was a good fighter, but his luck did not participate in saving his life. He was knocked out by his rival during the match, but it wasn't the cause of his death. After falling to the ground, he hit his head on the canvas, which became the cause of his sudden death. The match medics were not able to revive him and was sent to hospital, where he was officially declared dead. The cause of death was severe trauma to the head that caused cerebral hemorrhage. Number 5. Rondell Clark Rondell Clark is another young warrior who would only live for 26 years. He participated in his final bout in Plymouth, USA on August 15, 2017. The bout 
between Rondell Clark and his opponent, Ryan Dunn. He could only stand till the third round and was knocked out by Dunn. From the start, he shown physical weakness and couldn't defend himself normally. Due to fatigue, the match medics decided to take him to hospital. From there, he was rushed to hospital in Boston. The doctors failed to examine the cause. Clark's kidneys started failing due to dehydration and then was attacked by rhabdomyolysis from which his skeleton and muscular tissue was broken down. He died three days after the fight, aged just 26. Number 4. Dustin Jensen Jensen is another 26-year-old warrior, but unlike Clark, he died in an unsanctioned fight. This bout was in Rapid City, United States on May 24, 2012. During the fight, he tapped out and lost the match. All was well with this warrior and calmly watched the two following matches after his. Then, he collapsed on the locker room floor and was rushed to hospital. Doctors reported he suffered subdural hemorrhage and died after a week. Although Jensen didn't suffer any serious injuries and the referee was there to check up on him momentarily, so it's unclear how he suffered some dural hemorrhage. Was it during the fight or before the event? Number 3. Mateus Fernandez Mateus is the youngest legend who died in a sanctioned fight. Even though the fight was not that risky as compared to other combat sports like boxing, but still, Fernandez died at the age of 22. This sanctioned bout was in Manaus, Brazil on March 30, 2019. Fernandez is one of the great MMA players of his age. In his last fight, he won the first two rounds successfully, but the third round wasn't as fortunate for him. He was knocked down to the ground by a series of punches. Fernandez lost, but he started seizing and was hurried to hospital. The report says that he suffered four heart attacks before giving out his life. By the time of death, he was just 22 years old. Number 2. Mike Mittermeier Mike Mittermeier is the second youngest victim of MMA. He was just 20 years old, but he gave up on his life. He went to Bolivia on April 27, 2012 to fight in an unsanctioned fight. During the fight, he leglocked his opponent, but the opponent liked to play dirty. He illicitly kicked Mike in the head, knocking him unconscious. Although due to the foul, Mike won by disqualification, it was of no use to him. A few minutes after the match, he collapsed in the ring and was sent to hospital. Unfortunately, there were no medics around in the bout, so he was sent to hospital late. It was later dodged that the cause of death was cerebral hemorrhage, from which he couldn't be recovered and died at the age of 20. Number 1. Alfredo Castro Herrera Alfredo Castro Herrera is the youngest player who died in MMA history. The unsanctioned matches are always too risky to play. The chances of death and severe injuries are always higher. Alfredo was just 15 years old, engaged in an unsanctioned fight in Tijuana, Mexico on April 14, 1981. His fight was against Angel Ruiz Rodriguez, who knocked him out during the match, and Herrera couldn't get up from the TKO. In reality, this match was boxing mixed with martial arts, judo, and karate. He died at the age of 15, and the cause of death was never revealed. As he was the youngest victim of MMA, he was also the first one to die in MMA. All these incidents show that even though MMA is far safer than boxing, still, these tragedies can happen to anyone at any time. Today's video covered that dark side of MMA that most of us have forgotten or never really care about. If you liked our video, then press up the like button and subscribe to the channel for more MMA and sports videos. Lastly, comment down your thoughts about this topic and share the video with your friends and family. See you at the next one. Till then, be blessed and stay positive.